across our 238 lifeboat stations and over 5,500 volunteer operational crew, we get called out to all sorts of emergencies on the water. In 2019, our lifeboats were called out over 8,900 times. We're going to take you through the top five reasons for calling out the RNLI to voters between 2017 and 2019 and how to avoid them. In reverse order and at number five, we have sinking or sunk. Over the past couple of years, we have been called out over 200 times for vessels either sunk or sinking. The common reasons for this are things like Problems with the coupling from the prop shaft to the gearbox, the flexible stuffing box, deep sea seals, exhaust fittings and also skin fittings. You can avoid these issues by checking skin fittings and hoses regularly. Hoses should be double clamped. It is also good practice to regularly check the bilges for water either visually or using a bilge pump. At number four, human error. With over 500 lifeboat launches. There are many reasons why human error might lead to an emergency call out on the water. Things like errors in navigation, poor trip planning and also the skill level of the sailors. Have a plan and know your limits. We'd recommend getting trained properly before heading out onto the water and developing your skills so that you are experienced enough for the conditions you plan to go out in. The RYA has a number of practical and interactive shore based courses so that you can build your skills. Number three, 871 launches to vessels aground or stranded. When a vessel grounds on a seabed or hits something underwater and can't float free, we get called out. It could be that you've missed the tide, or you've misread the chart, or just been very unlucky. We'd recommend careful planning before your trip. Check the tide, weather, and navigation charts to keep you out of trouble. You should also calibrate your echo sounder if you have one and know whether it's reading from the waterline or under keel. Have a plan. At number two, we have equipment failure with over 1,900 callouts. Since 2017, we've had almost 2,000 callouts related to equipment failure. Loss of power, halyards, shrouds, and mast breakages, as well as steering and rudder failure. Look after your boat, yourself, and your crew. Although you can't plan for every eventuality and some things just break, you can mitigate against this by checking everything thoroughly before heading out onto water. Equipment should be serviced at recommended intervals and you should think about carrying spares for small repairs that may get you home. Machinery failure. With over 4,000 callouts in the past few years alone, machinery failure is the number one reason for callouts for boaters. Caused by engines overheating, contaminated fuel, faulty filters, faulty belts and blocked impellers. Prior to going out on the water, always make sure you complete an engine and machinery check, including belts, oil, bilges, coolant, strainers, air filters and seacocks. This could prevent a needless call out or even save lives. In addition to our top five, we'd also recommend always wear a life jacket and always check the weather conditions before going afloat. Make sure you have a means of calling for help on board and that everyone knows how to use it. We'd also recommend using the RYA Safe Tracks app to keep your family and friends informed and potentially alert the Coast Guard. For more information and tips on safety, visit the RNLI website and the RYA safety pages.